Here we see printed polyolefin wrapping film. It has been treated with a 1% inclusion of D2W oxo biodegradable master batch. All normal properties are maintained. Flexibility, strength, sealability, printability, processing speeds and temperatures are unaffected. D2W contains a catalyst that will cause cleavage of the molecular backbones of the plastic. These are the long entangled molecular chains that give plastic its properties of strength and durability. Triggered by the heat of the processing equipment, the D2W will cause a free radical reaction, which will break down the long chain molecular structure, forming harmless intermediates that are themselves biodegradable. That action is delayed by the influence of stable lysis incorporated within the D2W additive so as to give the product a useful life. The stable lysis will be depleted and the process will be accelerated by the action of ultraviolet light and heat in the environment. By adjusting the strength and type of stabilizer, different periods of fitness for purpose can be programmed into the plastic packaging. Once the stabilizers have done their job, the degradation process rapidly proceeds. The molecular weight descends quickly from around 200,000 to 100,000 and the material becomes fragmented. The relentless descent continues past 40,000 and from there microorganisms can access the available carbon within the material. Here, seen through an electron microscope, are the microorganisms colonizing the canyons of the low molar mass residues. Until finally, at levels between 10,000 and below 5,000, the original components of the plastic have converted to carbon dioxide, moisture and biomass, leaving no harmful residues.